to my channel. I am Taylor and I post videos every Thursday all about thrift, vintage, secondhand style, sustainability, fashion, all of the things. I hope you stick around and keep enjoying everything that my channel has to offer. We have a really good time over here and I just love sharing everything fashion and thrift. Today I have decided because I have been doing so much thrifting lately and I'm really trying to rein it in a little bit, I thought it would be fun to give myself a challenge today to put together an outfit with only $25, shoes, bag, pants, top, skirt, dress, whatever I find, it's gotta be under $25 and I gotta put the entire outfit together. I'm not really good with challenges because I feel like I just go ham in the thrift store and wanna go through every single rack. I just get sucked in. I'm going to try to stick to this as best I can. I hope I can do it. You know what? Uh, we're, we're, we're slapping down the negativity today. I am going to do this, guys. I'm in the parking lot of my favorite Goodwill right now. I'm gonna take you guys in. We're gonna go thrifting for all this stuff, and then I will give you guys a little fashion show of my final outfit that I picked out for only $25. So let's go head into the thrift store and put this outfit together. I'm so excited to see what we can come up with. I also wanna point out my outfit besides my platform Superga's I have is 100% thrifted. Really feeling these dad vibes today. It's rainy. I just want to be comfy. So, that's what I'm wearing. I'm inside. I think the section I'm going to start with are bottoms. So, skirts, pants, shorts maybe if we can find shorts. I know that those are usually the most difficult pieces to find because they really have to fit you well. So I think I'm gonna start there and then build the outfit out around what I'm able to find in the bottoms. I could totally do a dress, but I feel like that would be a bit of a cop out if I just did a dress because that's like 95% of the outfit. So I really wanna challenge myself and start with the bottoms and kind of do all separates so that I can, I don't know, I just feel like I need to give myself more of a challenge than just a dress. I really like this, but I already thrifted a skirt pretty much exactly like this, but oh. these are super on trend, so I always am able to find these at the thrift store if you're ever looking for one of these accordion style skirts. All right, I found three potential skirt options. Two are floral print because we love a good floral print for spring. And then the other one is more of a neutral, so I feel like that will be good, you know, just depending on what tops I find. Here is the neutral one, and I love this little angled detail. It definitely feels like a really nice brand. I don't know this brand. It's called Mage. It just feels really good quality. So I feel like this could be good for like a neutral, kind of sophisticated classic look. And then I found these two floral skirt. I love a good orange and I love the purple vibe with it. And then this one is more of like an A-line, has a little bit of this pleating throughout purple. I just think they're both super cute and could be really good with like a little crop top. We'll have to see what I find later, obviously. But now I'm gonna go through these pants. We'll see what we can find. Super cute little free people pants. They have the tie in the front, but they're size two. I am a size two. Okay, these are super cute, like high-waisted paper bag trousers. A bit of a winter vibe, but I feel like if I kind of pulled out this light blue color in there, or maybe did it with like a white crop top, this could be super cute for summertime. Just cinch it with a belt, and you're good to go. through all of the pants. I found about five pairs and they're all patterned, so I feel like it's going to be pretty easy to just sift through the shirts and see which ones are gonna go with them. But I think it would be really cool with some of these to maybe do a little bit of pattern smashing, layering, I don't know. We are within the confines of the $25 
limit so that might limit me on some of them um, in terms of the layering but we can definitely at least find tops to match these so real quick I'll show you the ones I found these are very similar to the other plaid pants I showed you but they are a modern brand so I kind of got them as like a backup option in case those other ones don't fit here is the vintage version of those pants and you can see like this one has a little waist tie they are very similar so we have the OG version and then the newer version so we'll see which one of those works these are a pair of striped urban outfitters high-waisted trousers and I think these are just going to be essential for spring and summer so I think a floral top with this could be really cool or maybe just a basic like white top and then the paste the resistance these high-waisted like probably 80s floral trousers maybe 90s but they have a little bit of an elastic band in the back they have the button front I just think these are obviously so spring and then because I have zero self-control I saw this dress peeking out of the dress section and I just had to grab it I mean it's a full-length tiered dress organza this beautiful kind of moody floral I love this little floral pin it has here and it is vintage guys regardless of what I walk out of here today with this is this is coming home with me I'm gonna move on to the shirts and see if I can start putting the outfits together and then I will try them on and see what works okay to keep me on track because we all know I get sidetracked in the thrift store I have laid out all my bottom options so that I can visually see them and then quickly you know grab something from this rack and see how it would look together I have a few ideas I think yellow would look really fabulous with this tan color maybe play on this purple blue or maybe an orange top with this definitely a lot of crop tops so I'm going to start in the tank tops here and then I will you know keep making my way to short sleeve and then long sleeve and see what options we can do for these few tank tops a little linen black holder top a little mustard like tiered top that I think could be cool over those striped urban outfitters pants and then what else did I find oh that little black tank top with the multicolor straps which I thought would be fun maybe with those um, plaid trousers now I've made it over to the short sleeve shirts and I think I'm just gonna show them to you as I find them so the first one I found is this little cashmere short sleeve sweater top and I like that it has the little Kind of hints at the cable net going through and i think this could be good with a few options i really try to go for quality when i'm at the thrift store so i immediately could tell that this was really nice quality just by feeling it and it's 100 percent cashmere so i think this could be really cute if you kind of do the little bra tuck and kind of wear it as a little crop top either with those 80s floral pants or with the striped pants Right behind that cashmere top was this little linen one and I love the beaded collar detail. I think this could be really cute either tied up or you kind of tucked it under and wore it as a crop. So very similar color to this. I think it's just gonna come down to what looks better and I don't know, I just thought this was so cute. Here is a little mango shirt I found. It has this little embroidered detail here and I thought this could be good for one of the skirts. I could just kind of tie it up or tuck it under my bra or just tuck it in. So I feel like a good basic t-shirt, can't go wrong with that. Here is a little periwinkle puff sleeve top. It's pretty loose, but I think if I kind of tuck it up under and make it a little bit more cropped, it could go perfect with either the purple and floral skirt or this orange and floral skirt. I'm kind of leaning more towards this because I like that together, but that's the only option I found for those so far. I feel like this one is definitely challenging me a little bit, but that makes me want to find something all the more. tops 
and I just found the cutest button down, but I'm not really sure what it would go with. This is my problem, that I'm just like attracted to cute things and I need to actually be thinking about the whole outfit, but I think it could potentially go with those striped pants. Look how cute. I usually don't go for these because I feel like they're a little kitschy, but I think this one is adorable. Kind of like a charcoat shirt in a way. I think I could maybe wear it open with something underneath. I am losing steam, guys. These racks are like squeezed together so tight, so I'm like trying to get through them, but I have found a lot of really fun tops. I just love this. It's a little Harley sweatshirt. This is a little silk kind of wash top. It's it's coming off a little more brown in camera, but it's really like an olive green, so I thought that could be nice with either the striped trousers or the plaid trousers. And then I also grabbed just this J. Crew striped button down because I felt like it would be really good with maybe the orange skirt. So I'm continuing, I'm continuing to sift through all of the mini shirts they have. It doesn't go with anything I have, but just thought it was cute. Before I head on over to the shoes, let me show you the few tops I found in the long sleeves slash sweater section. I know sweaters aren't really spring, summer, but I really still love that cardigan trend and I feel like if you find a light cardigan, it's really fine. First sweater I found was this cut off like kind of vest sweater. It's just from the Who What Wear line, but I figured it could go well with either one of the trousers or something. This cardigan is a little French Connection cardigan and I love this little detail here, like all the cutout details. I loved the colors of this and this little contrast cuff and lapel and I thought this could go really great with the striped pants. I'm not sure what brand this is, but it feels super well made and I love these colors. I think it could go with um, definitely a few of the options I have. So I think this is good just because it kind of ties in all the colors I've found. So the next thing I found was this kind of electric green, yellow, super sheer sweater. And I like this because it would just be the perfect kind of color to go with this skirt. I wasn't able to find a super yellow yellow, but I think this is still the vibe I'm going for. I think these could go really well together. We're gonna move on to shoes and bags now, and then I think we'll be done. We'll be ready to put this look together. I have so many options to sift through, so I know that this outfit is going to be bomb. <laughs> little shoes Gianni beanie but I usually wear a six and a half and they're a seven and a half I feel like they're a little too big right here but how cute and on trend are these well maybe I can make them work I might walk around the store in them and see if they work because I love them so much I am obsessed with these who would wear like croc embossed mules but unfortunately they're too big for me <laughs> These are super cute block heels from Steve Madden, but this is basically almost all my budget. They're 20 bucks, so these would have been in my price range. I would have picked them up, but that would be everything. So I guess I'll have to find something else. Here are some really cute black slides I found, but they are also too big. All right, I'm going to stick with these shoes because I just walked around the shoe department with them and they actually felt fine. I think they'll be good for, you know, date night, whatever. I'm not gonna be walking, you know, hours in these shoes, but I think they will definitely work for what I need and it's exactly what I was going for. So done, found the shoes. I just found this hat and I think I need it. It's only $3. How fabulous would I be 
I don't even know where I'm going in this. Probably the beach. Vacation. It's so good. <laughs> I just got to the dressing room. I'm gonna start hanging things up and kind of put the initial looks together. So kind of just pair things together that I think could go well as an outfit. And then I'll start trying everything on. Well, if all else fails, I at least have this dress that I know will work perfectly. I love the pattern. I love the tiered print and I love that it's not a full length dress. So it looks a little bit more casual, like I could wear it every day. Looks super cute with those shoes I picked up. I mean, no matter what happens guys, I'm leaving with this. I am starting out with the skirt, which fits like a glove. And then I paired it with the like sheer top. I would probably do obviously a little bit more of a bralette situation instead of an actual bra with this but i love the color combination i love how the shoes go with it so this is definitely a good option here is the mango tee with this and i love the color combination i love that it dresses down the skirt a little bit and i think this could be really cool possibly with some sweater layered over it definitely digging this i feel like it is a basic but still really cute look i am in trouble because i have too many options this little plaid top i feel like kind of dresses it up and makes it maybe a little bit more work appropriate or businessy i don't know but i think it is super cute together i have too many options already <laughs> hear me out i love this skirt it is gorgeous but i really don't like this top with it i feel like it needs maybe a tighter top and also i don't love the color so we shall keep trying a few of these i don't really have that many options to go with the skirt which is so sad because it is adorable. This white cardigan is definitely better. I love the little cutouts it has, but now I feel like it looks a little bit too Easter-y, which is wonderful. I love this as, you know, kind of an Easter outfit or something, but that's not really what I'm going for. So I don't know, TBD on this skirt. I think it is beautiful, but I'm struggling with finding the right piece to go with it. This orange floral skirt is to die for. I love the fit the color, the pattern. I love where it hits and it goes really well with the shoes. But again, I'm not super keen on this top. I feel like maybe if it was a little bit tighter, but I have a few other tops to go with this, so I'm gonna try those out. This is much better. I like that it shows a little bit of my stomach, so I have, you know, kind of that spring summer vibe going. I love the stripes with the floral. It brings out this purpley blue in there. It's not too matchy matchy. And I just feel like it looks very chic and sophisticated, very Kate Spade. Here is the sweater vest with this, and I have it just hanging out because I do like that vibe, but I also think it would look really cute tucked up and kind of just hanging out. It could be really cute too. I swear this skirt basically goes with everything I picked out for it. I love this top with it too. The puff sleeve kind of hangs over a little bit. I also think a belt might be really nice with this look but many options with this skirt. So here are those modern little trousers. Unfortunately, the vintage ones were just way too big. I think this outfit is super chic. Definitely not a $25 outfit. Next, I'm trying on the striped Urban Outfitters trousers. I paired them with this little off the shoulder top. Now I love the pink, orange, and white, but this blue is really clashing for me and I just don't love that. I just don't think it goes together. It just clashes a little too much, but these trousers are so good and I have a few other shirt options I'm gonna try with this one. This is why I'm trying things on because I thought this would be great and I absolutely hate it together. So there's your tip of the day try it on together or else you don't truly know. Here are these striped pants with this sort of ruffle, mustardy yellow top. And I usually am not one for wearing tops not tucked into high-waisted pants, but I'm really digging this. I like it. I don't know, it's a little bit different for me in terms of wearing the shirt like this, but I think it's really, really cute. And here is the kind of olive green silk top. I feel like the colors really complement each other. It's easy to wear, meaning I don't have to put a lot of thought into it. I just put this stuff on, it's comfortable. I feel like the shoes kind of dress it up a little bit. 
this is totally a look I would wear. Last piece I am trying out are the floral pants. And I love the pattern, but I just feel like it's doing some weird pleating thing and kind of giving me like a camel toe. <laughs> I wish that they had like a little less pleating and volume throughout here because I think they would be really, really cute if not. But this situation is not good. So I have just finished putting my outfit together and I want to know from you guys, what piece do you think I am styling up or what do you think I chose for my final $25 outfit. Comment below which one you think I went with. So I'm about to do a little Goodwill fashion show. I am literally about to strut through Goodwill like it is my personal runway to show you guys this final outfit. And yeah, this is fun. <laughs> actually go with a look that I hadn't even completely shown you because I wanted it to be a bit of a surprise but it was definitely taking elements from things that I did show you and you also got a lot of extra content on different $25 outfits so I think these shoes were a little bit pricey they were 13 pants are five top is five and this is five so I think overall I will be a little bit over the $25 but I feel like for what I found and getting all of these pieces that is a score I got my loot also what is my hair do you guys just like get destroyed when you go thrifting anyways I don't know what's happening let's ignore that but I spent just over $25 even though I had the cap of 25 I still feel like I won the challenge. Maybe if I hadn't have done a little sweater over it, I would have reached $25 or been under $25, but I feel like that little sweater was like essential to creating the perfect look. So I feel really proud that I did it. I hope you guys enjoyed a little challenge because I feel like I challenged myself. Thank you guys for watching. If you don't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Again, I post videos every Thursday all about thrift, fashion, sustainability, and I hope you guys stick around. Follow me on Instagram to see how I style up my thrifty finds, and until next time, bye!